Welcome back to another episode of Art Books Reviewed. What is it this time I hear you cry? Well, this time it is The Art of Rick and Morty. Beautiful book. Hardback, heavy, rather large. And the great thing about this book is it's glow in the dark. I don't think I'm going to be able to demonstrate that because I have lights in here deliberately illuminating me and the book. But at night time, I can guarantee it does actually glow. And that's amazing. This is a nice book. It's um, from Titan. Anyway, so it's it was published in 2017. And it's got loads of artwork from the, the, the cartoon series by Adult Swim. Um, Rick and Morty is like an animated, for anyone who hasn't seen it, is an animated science fiction cartoon uh, and at first glance it looks like it might be kind of child friendly but it's not it's actually quite adult uh, rick's basically an alcoholic and he kind of like spurts and spews his way through most of his lines he's a really bad influence on the poor kid um but Mor morty just goes along uh, for the ride really uh and and rick takes him on some crazy uh, inappropriate adventures uh, it's, it's really funny i wish in a way my children could watch it because they love adventure time but it's just not for them when they're older perhaps let's let's have a let's have a look in more detail shall we so the all important way in let's see what we've got what we're we dealing with here about 1600 grams so without further ado let's have a little look inside so it says uncensored bro that's my new catchphrase this is totally in character for, for Morty here. Oh, check out this cool glow-in-the-dark cover, Rick. Anyway, let's have a look. What have we got? That's very green. The Art of Rick and Morty. Written by James Cicillano. Forward by Justin Rowland. There's the contents, you can see. So there's split over five chapters. Chapter 1 is Family and Friends, Chapter 2 Neighbours, Aliens, Mutants and more, Chapter 3 Technology, Chapter 4 Environments and Chapter 5 Production. Very colourful. As you can probably hear, the paper um, is thick and really nice quality. Listen to that. Yeah, so it's just absolutely gleaming with colour. It's pretty lucid. Um, but it's really good. Look at that. So it's almost a bit like one of those books, you know, learn how to draw a cat or a horse or something, except it's you know, sort of telling you how to draw the characters uh, in Rick and Morty. So this is all about Rick. I won't show you every page, but we'll just flick through a bit. I love Rick. Always got that little bit of green sick just dribbling down his chin, his tongue. Seems to have a life of its own. So there he is boozing and whatnot, lots of different uh, ricks. <laughs> so yeah, and then we've got Morty, of course. I like the style of the animations in this, simple, but sort of hilarious. I don't know what's going on here. I've not, I can't claim to have watched every episode. I've watched them um, the first couple of seasons. Um, it's a psychedelic experience, whoa. Designs. Uh, we're on to chapter two now. Neighbours, aliens, mutants, and more. Don't know where they come up with some of these ideas. Testicle monsters, really? Cronenbergs. <laughs> yeah, so very much like the Simpsons in a lot of ways. Um, <laughs> just love leafing through this. 
smells really good too, actually. And chapter three, technology. Let's have a little look at some of these. Loads of drawings of vehicles, uh, various weapons and guns, um, stuff like that. Chapter four, in move on to environments. So you get like the neighborhood, the house, Rick's lab, um, or the views of the house they live in. And presumably, ugh, that's not pleasant at all. Various other environments. <laughs> that's almost Adventure Time inspired, that, that uh, page. So anyway, I really think this is a good book. I, I often just have a little look through here. It often inspires me to actually pick up some paper and just start drawing some, some doodles as well of my own. So it has that effect on me. Yeah. Oh, some scripts and things at the back. That's nice. And some sketches. Yeah, it is inspirational. About 223 pages all in all. Um, there's also some storyboards here at the back. So, the scores are in for The Art of Rick and Morty. Um, the content, I'm going to give it a four. It's got a lot of content in there. Lots to look through, lots to keep you occupied and refer back to. The print quality, I'm going to give it a five because it's really nice. They've done a good job on this book. Um, so well done to them, to Titan Books. Uh, the, the value, I'm going to give it a three because whilst I do love this book, £30 is quite a lot to fork out as the RRP. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and overall, the overall art book score I'm going to give The Art of Rick and Morty is a four. Um, if you're into Rick and Morty, you need this book really because... Um, well, it's all about Rick and Morty and it's got some very funny illustrations in it. Mm -hmm.